hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 19 Browns franchise rebuild. We're in season six, folks. We're in week four, the take no prisoner season, going for the 16-0 and this year so we can de destroy everyone's feelings and make them all feel pain. Uh, as always, playing offense only, simming that D, and uh, using that balanced playbook. So, so far we've been uh, destroying everyone's hopes and dreams, making them pay. Uh, last week we really fucking made them cry, made them call their mothers. Zach the Dream Weaver, he's already got four interceptions in three games. I've, uh, I've not been uh, doing too good at keeping the ball out of other people's hands, but... Antoine Hanoi, and he's been catching Christmas hams with those big ham hock hands, folks. And uh, Ellis, the Dyson Parker, is getting all the touchdowns and speeding around the NFL and winning things forever. All right, let's get into this shit. All right, let's go and make this fast. All right, let's see what we can do here. They didn't score because they're bitches. How about that? Now I'm going to win forever. Um, Let's go ahead and... All right, we're going to stretch it out. It's so what we always do, first play ever, kind of judge how their side-to-side uh, -side tackling is. I fucking hope C.J. Mosley no longer plays for them. I don't see his dreadlocks, so it looks like that may not be a problem. Fuck you, Baltimore. I hate your face so much. Who's that? Is that him? No, that's somebody else. Okay, so normally they, uh, they make me pay. They've been making me pay tremendously. Uh, I think they beat me last year one time. Okay, I feel like this guy to the right is going to blitz. Um, and I am correct. Oh, there we go. Maven. Maven getting up the field. Holy shit. He's, uh, he's not very good at blocking, folks, even though he's a blocker. But uh, he is, uh, he did well there. One reception, 28 yards. Let's get uh, the Dyson another chance. Mr. Baca. Bob Baca, the Dyson salesman. Um, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and run him to the left. Block, block, block. Block, block, block. Oh, you son of a bitch. I thought you were coming at me and you just like stopped and played fucking tummy sticks with everybody. You're a piece of shit. I hate your face. Your face is hated, so you know that. Uh, I just want to destroy these guys. I want to make them pay. Uh, make their mothers pay. Get out of my face. Oh, the... Pff, Jesus Christ, dude. They are not... Just threw Callaway to the ground like he's a little bitch. Jesus. This isn't very, uh... This isn't happening very well for me, guys. Um, I'm gonna win. That's what I say. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, fucking... Hanoian cutting across the field like a fucking... Oh, he just caught the heavenly ham, folks. He's doing the fucking, what's that dance called? The Lord of the Rings. No, the Lord of the Flies. No, the Lord of the Dance. That's what he's doing. Dan Adiantwe Hanoi in the Lord of the Dance. Michael Guy Guy Guy, the guy who used to do the guy dance. Just fucking, he just made him cry. They're sliding on a river of tears to the end zone, except for they didn't make it in. All right, let's see who we got here. We got Hanoian doing a, a curl. Got Goodman. He's going to be Mr. B. Goodman. Uh, Callaway's cutting it out. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Goodman. It's going to be good, man. Oh, we got knocked the fuck out. His neck is gone, folks. He has no way to support his head with his body anymore. Why is that guy? So he's like, he looks like he's been on a fucking meth bender all weekend. Why is their coach a meth head? He's like, it's cool, dude. Don't worry. It's only math. It's, it's neat. A little side story, guys. Uh, when Jonas was about 20, went to a, a job interview to be a, like a, I don't know, what, like a DJ, I guess it would be, like at weddings and shit. And uh, so I'm in the interview, and this dude, I don't know, it's in like a little one, like business office sort of deal. And he's like, uh, he's like, straight up in the middle of the interview, he goes, so... Do you do any drugs, man? And I was just like, oh, my God, sir, no. No, sir, I don't do any drugs. And he's like, I do meth, man. He's like, you need that to keep you up all night to do these. Oh, God, get off me. Get off me. No, Barker says. So, like, you know, back then, like, meth was, like, new. So I'm curious 
Like, whatever happened to that guy? Like, he probably, my guess is he's dead. Or, uh, he's in jail. Or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was just a little side note. It was, it was crazy. Regardless to say, he did call me to get the job. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. I was like, I'm cool. Oh, fake. Oh, I faked both of them out. Their mother called, said I stole their heart. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't DJ with the meth head guy. I uh, figured it was best my long-term goals as a 20-year-old man not to go to jail to hang by hanging out with guy DJs who do meth. So, you know, I was like, figured that was probably a good start to my, my adulthood. I was right. Because I uh, still have never done meth. Still have never been arrested for meth. Oh, B. Goodman. Oh, did you see it? He just wants to spike it. Oh, we just dropped it at their feet like a fucking cat coming in with a dead chipmunk in his mouth, folks. B. Goodman is the kitty in the West. He's dropping fucking potato chunk chipmunks down at your toes. Bringing in the treat, showing how much he cares for you. That's right. You guys can't score touchdowns against me. You can't. All right, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and get this shit going. Uh, oh, block me. Even block. Oh, fuck you. Get out of my fucking face and into my car. Beep, beep. Yeah. Ooh, do you feel? Oh, my God. His mother called. She just wants to. She just, she just wants her fucking bra back. She threw it at you in a swoon, and now she's like, oh, I can't hold up my chesticles. I got to do the things. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, lady, you threw it on stage and I was part of the show. And Ellis Barca said, no, we're going to sweep that shit under the rug, friends. And he wins. Look, he just, oh, he broke his legs. Did you see him spin around and break that dude's legs? He looked like fucking Mary Poppins jumping off a roof without an umbrella. Oh, you guys are sad. I'm so sorry that you're not winning. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all that your face is not winning. We're going to have to take some things to the next level. We're going to get Mr. Uh, Perry Ellis involved here. Oof. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hanoian. There we go, friend. Block him. Oh, get out of his face and into his... Get out of my dreams. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we can do here. Um, We got some We got some time. Zach the Dream Waver. Five for 533 yards. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to take Callaway deep. I feel I'm feeling lucky over here. We're gonna get a little cluster, a little cluster of loving. Ooh. Oh God, Hanoian's open again. Oh, look at this. Oh, get out of his face. Get into his car, friends. Oh, he's slippery. It's like he's a butter stick out there with no fucking agenda. Just clogging up arteries left and right. He's uh, call him cholesterol, folks, because he's on a butter bender. Let's see here. He wins. You lose. He gets his lit. I'm going to keep doing this play because it seems to be working. Oh, oh God. There we go. Perry Armstrong. Get off of his neck. Okay. 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 We're going we're gonna to play. We're going to play a little game. It's called I win and you lose. Oh, they're going to double team Holloway. I'll show him how to fucking throw a hot dog down a hallway. Oh, God. Hanoian! Oh, another touchdown. Why don't we just call up his goddamn grandma and tell her that he's a star player because he wants to be in the fucking Super Bowl. Ooh, he's doing the reverse running man, folks. That guy in the background just did the most awkward arm thrust I've ever seen. You're going to score. That's what you're going to do, huh? You're going to take away my, my love of the game by making everyone pay. Uh, what are we going to do here? We will do... We're going to do this. We're going to do the corner strikes, and then we're going to take... Did I just fuck that up? I did. Uh, reset play. We're going to take Goodman deep. We're going to take him deep, and we're going to take him deep. Who barely got the playoff. Oh, throw it. Armstrong. One arm, motherfucker. Yes. Get off of him. No, you son of a bitch. That fucking jerk, dude. He kept me from winning more points. Oh, I get to return the kick, though. I can dig it. Who's returning the kick, friend? Who is it? Is it still stiff? Stiff. Oh, God. That was like a terrible ass kick. Oh, my God. He hit me so hard. It was like a tack hammer to the noggin. 
All right, let's see here. Um, okay, we get we get the ball back. All right. Here's the Browns offense now mm. getting set to start off this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a All right. Oh, maybe. Oh, you fucking jerk. Oh, brush him off, folks. Oh, he just got tripped up by his own friends. He was so good at juking these motherfuckers out, he confused his own player to get in his way so that he couldn't even go to the store anymore. He just wanted a fucking huggy, and he got to the store in time to fucking sell them, sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. Be good, man. Be good, man. Oh, he got, look at that. It was like throwing a goddamn oyster cracker into a pot of chili. Did you see it? He just like, he was like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm here. And he was like, oh, did you win? I won. Did you lose? Yes. You guys ever tried to throw oyster crackers into a pot of chili? It's pretty easy. I mean, one's the size of like an oyster cracker and one's the size of a pot of chili. It's almost, uh, oh, oh, Hanoi. <laughs> Hanoi, I like you on the left, friend. Because you're fucking a blocker. Callaway's a little bitch. He just lets everybody score. He's like, nah, dude, I'm good. Um, Hanoian. Let's go. Oh, so we only got one, huh? All right, let's go here. Let's flank or dig it. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Can you all dig it? We can dig it. I'm going to send him on a slant. I'm going to send Callaway on a slant. Come on, Callaway. Come on. There we go. All right, we're going to crisscross. Not like the band, the R&B band. Oh, Callaway. You might as well have just fucking left him in the desert with no water. He was so open. Did he just hug the goalpost? No, not really. Gosh. Baltimore, sad state of affairs, guys. I don't I don't know. I don't know if you just lost your self-esteem or what's going on. You know, there's a crisis hotline out there for you. You know, it's not it's not worth it. You shouldn't you shouldn't take your own lives. You should just live live free, die hard. Bruce Willis is here. Oh, oh the oh the fucking Dyson. Oh, someone pulled the power cord out on the Dyson there, folks. He didn't quite get what he was looking for, but you know, next time maybe he will. He was hoping to sweep up some Fruit Loops. He got he swept up some fucking hairballs. You know, he wants sweet and fruity. He got the savor, the savory. Oh, and he's gonna. Oh, get out of my fucking house! There went his mother. Oh, how's your mom? Oh, she's in my fucking backyard. Oh, did you just see what happened? Because his mother called and she just wanted her fucking Kit Kats that she stole from the store when she was seven years old back. Too bad they're rotten now. You can't even eat them. What ow! Just made her cringe like she was watching Twisted Sister videos. Let's see here. All right, we're going to win now. We're going to make it win. We're going to do it. We're going to make things happen. This guy's going to blitz me. He thinks he's going to do something good. Oh, God. Oh, God. There goes Callaway. Oh, get off of his back. Quit riding his back like Seabiscuit, everybody. He's not a horse. He's a man. He's a man horse, not a man whore. Horse of a man. Let's see here. Can we get anything going? Can we make the magic happen? Can we score 50 again? I think we can do it. I think we can fucking do it. We're going to score 50. We're going to make somebody's fucking brother cry today. We're all about making mothers cry in the Cleveland Browns franchise, but today it's going to be a brother. They're gonna, we're going to make him hurt so bad, Big Brother is going to come home crying like when his sunglasses got stepped on at the circus by an elephant. He didn't even know what happened. He just knows that the elephant hated his face. Hmm. Let's see here. He tried to feed, feed the peanut an elephant, or the elephant a peanut, and he was like, oh, bro, my fucking neck bone chop. Oh, and Hanoi. <laughs> Can you just take him to church? Can you just take him to church? He's sinning all over your fucking face. Like he's a goddamn guy who likes to sin. He doesn't have any morals, folks. He doesn't even care who your mother is. He's going to win. We are going to make it all happen. Right now. Right now is it going to happen. We're going to get fucking Holloway a touchdown. Oh, my God. Holloway's like, where's your friend? Don't you dare touch my ball. Sona Joe. Whatever, dude. He's like... 
you know, he's crying for Argentina, but he's not even living there. I don't know how you can make that happen. All right, what are we going to do with Holloway here? Um, or Armstrong. I like the Armstrong dip. Let's see here. Uh, oh, God, Armstrong in the end zone. Armstrong, why don't you dance for us? What are you going to do? I can't tell because that guy's sleeves in the way. It was the sleeve cover shuffle, my favorite dance of the whole game. Oh, we don't have we haven't cleared 50 points. We're at 49. We're going to make Oh, they gave it back to us. Did they not want to win? Do you think that you're having trouble because I ain't going to help you. I ain't going to make it any easier. We're going to just double the double the dude. We're going to make it happen. Look at this. Watch this. Watch. Just watch. Watch what happens. Oh, and there he is. And there's the interception. No it wasn't. Why don't you just take me to church? Take me to the sock hop. Pour me a melted malt shake. Take me out to dinner. Say you gotta go to the bathroom. And then just leave me there to pay. That's what some guys do, folks. It's, it's not all about puppy dogs and sunshine. That time it was intercepted. No, it wasn't. Whew. They want to play. They want to play games with me. They're down by 21. They think this is, they think this is a joke. Do you think this is a joke? You shouldn't think it's a joke. Don't waste anything, announcer man. Announcer man, I'm going to waste you! Oh my god, I just watched that man stand there. Don't you fucking... CJ Mosley, still playing football? No, you're Williams, but you have the same haircut. 56 yards, huh? For a fucking, want me to kick a 56-yard field goal? Zane Gonzalez can't kick a 56-yard field goal. I'm gonna try it. Fuck it. I'm doing. I'm doing the best I can. I'm gonna live my best life. Perfect. It's a, it's the best it could be, and he still didn't make it. Oh my God, he made it. Holy shit. Whoo. Fucking Aunt Sally just phoned him. She hadn't talked to him in 22 years due to what to do the last miss. She just fucking called him today and said, "Hey, friend, you're back." He's like, "Back from where, Sally?" And she said, "I don't know because I didn't talk to you. I have no idea what you've been doing, but you're an NFL kicker now." He's like, "Yeah, you know, we're not all losers. You know, sometimes, sometimes you gotta you gotta lay a few fucking rotten eggs before the golden goose shows up and fucking clears out his checking account. Oh my God, B. Goodman, he's so fucking just drop him down. Oh, get going, Goodman. Oh, okay. I'm just sad that they got the meth head coach. He's hanging out. He's like, oh guys, I don't know what to do. I'm so sad. And you're like, I don't know, dude. We're gonna pull out the pistol." It's time to pull out the motherfucking pistol. You don't even know what hit you. You don't know what hit you. It's the pistol. The pistol hit you, folks. Baltimore isn't even going to know. Barrett fucking rude. I don't even know if that's his name, but that's what I'm calling him. We're getting them all. Everyone is a suspect. Everyone's a suspect. Rude! That was very rude of you to drop the goddamn ball. That's what I got to say. He did wave the arms. He did want the football. I love the way that you noticed what happened there, friend. The announcer was like, the guy was like, hey, I'm open. And then guess what happened? He wasn't. He didn't win. He made me cry. He made me sad. Okay, dude, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Wear that underwear. Oh, the pistol. Oh, oh, there's Callaway. Oh, God damn it. You're going to break it. All right, we're going to, we're going to, oh, you call the timeout? I'm good on that. Why are you calling timeouts? Oh, I guess you're only down by 16. How did I give up so many goddamn points, dude? I ain't even feeling this friend. They're not friendly, dude. They're not. They're not friendly. I'm not happy because they're not friendly. Who's this? All right. Oh, let's, let's just make it a winner, okay? Everybody's a suspect. Holloway down to the one. Let's call a timeout. Oh, you guys call your timeout? I will let you use every timeout you want to use because... Wow. Wow. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Should we give another... Should we give Barrett Rude another chance? I don't even know if his last, first name is Barrett. I'm just what I'm going to call him that. All right. We got Rude. We're going to set Goodman. Goodman on a little, a little fucking thingy dingy. We're going to take Callaway, make him a smart route. And Hanoi, and we're just going to send him on a slant. It's a little mixed, folks. A mix-up. 
Oh, fucking rude. There we go, friend. Oh my god, did you just see what happened to him? It looked like he got broke. He tore both his ACLs, folks, but look at him, he's standing, he's strong. That's right, rude. It was rude of me not to... Oh, I get one more chance. I love when you give me one more chance. Because I can make you look like a bitch quicker than a fucking female dog in Christmas. So let's see what we can do here. No, Ian. Callaway. Goodman. There we go. Let's get it. Ooh, ooh. Hanoian is the Dream Weaver. You son of a bitch. Zach the Dream Weaver was trying to make the fucking sleepy eye dreams come true. And he ended up failing miserably. Alright, folks. We did win, though. We got the win. We got the dub. We got the W. But that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like share and subscribe lie to your friends tell them it's worthwhile to watch this you know it isn't but it's a lie so that's where it comes in tell them to sub tell them to fucking ring a ding a ling that bell but you know what for jonas unless you're hanging out in a second to see what i do in the midweek off season stuff i am next week to take on out Cincinnati Bengals meanwhile for the Ravens they'll drop down okay guys all right cool so we have cleared the first four week hurdle we are one quarter of the way through the season do I have some upgrades available oh I'm going into the resign quarterback Zach the dream weaver with an upgrade uh let's go ahead and advance to next week so we're going to advance go to next week and we shall see what's happening. Okay. I was like, are you going to go? You going to go over there? So we won. Uh, we got to do training. Oh, we get to play the Bengals. Do we already play the Bengals? Do we play them like a couple times real quick? No, no. Maybe we didn't play them. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Uh, all right. Baker Mayfield still plays for them. These sons of bitches. They took Baker Mayfield and Tariq Cohen, I think, or David Njoku. I don't know. They took all my players, man. But you know what? They can't make it work. Look at Barker, Ellis Barker, Zach the Dream Weaver, Deion Twan, the fucking, I don't even remember what I said he was, Hanoian. What did I call him? Uh, I called him something. Uh, we're going to upgrade some people. Um, Zach Weaver. We will make him better. Now a 92. It's going to be dropping grease drips in that KFC bucket before you know it, everybody. Malcolm Brock. Oh, he's my backup QB. He's going to, ooh, look at him. He's 75. He's got Jeff Garcia's old number. It means he's going to stink. He's going to run around. Doolin Gregg. I want that guy to be good so bad. Why do I want the wide receiver Doolin Gregg to be good? Because his name is Doolin Gregg. What other reason? It could be like Dolan's gragging through the swamps and kept. See, I, I already got it. It's like where it needs to be. Um, all right, let's see. I want to try to sign this guy again. He wanted a little bit more of a contract. He thought he was slick. Tyrone Kid, like we're like, oh hey Tyrone Kid, what's up? How about we give you one point four? Take that down. Here we go. Boom. It's been great to. Dude, don't financial side need some work on me. Um, oh god, this guy, he's 26, what's he want? He wants two years, we'll get him, th let's do two years, we'll do 1.5, and we'll do eight, that's what, it's a little, it's a little bit less than he wants, we'll do three years, he's not bad, he's man to man, you gonna sign? Don't be a bitch, you are happy to sign with me, aren't you? Uh, what do you want, Bradford Lee? God, you want so much money, but you're like so good. Oh, man, I'm going to do, let's see. He wants 20.5. We're going to take him down to, like, three. And we're going to do three years. Do it. Do it. This offer is poor across the board. I don't like the salary bonus or length. Dude, you are sad. You are a sad man. Um. All right. Next week, we get to try to sign Lemur Popic. Holloway, you're going to want some cash, bro. We're not re-signing you, the valve. You're dropping out. All right, uh, we got to scout some players. Who have I scouted already? We'll see how I've done this. Um, scouted. Who have I scouted? Left ends, left tackles, huh? 
It's been very left oriented. Uh, is there anybody left on the left tackle side? Uh, oh, I've got to go down here and do your do your little hootie hoos. All right, unscouted sixth round Brashad Moronok. Oh, I gotta fucking scout that guy. He needs to be on my team. Um, left tackle will do left guard, I guess. Should I frame it? Cooper Doc, who's not very good. Kean Finley, not very good. God, why are all these guys trash? Gordon Withers, nope. Looks like no one's drafting a left guard, everybody. Jesus Cripes. Oh, there we go. Late third round. That's it. That's the only guy left. All right. That is all the time that I have. Uh, you know, make sure you leave some comments in the videos. I'll get back to you. I like talking to everybody, seeing what's going on. But uh, for Jonas, I'll catch you next week. I am.